Hi there, students. Mesh. A mesh. A countable and uncountable noun. And also as a verb to mesh. Okay, firstly, let's see. A mesh is a textile like a net with spaces in between the bits. Normally the uh, mesh is quite fine, it's quite small. For example, if you're cooking and you want to put your flour through a sieve, if you want to strain it, you need some sort of mesh. Or maybe over your windows you have a mesh so that the insects can't get in, but when the wind blow blows it's cool so you're not completely shut in. So you could have a wire mesh, a plastic mesh. As a verb, when things mesh, when different things mesh, when they, uh, or people mesh, they suit each other, they work well together. So the members of the team started to mesh well and we started winning matches. Um, it can be very difficult to find a job that meshes with um, looking after small children. So you need a job that meshes the family life with your life at work. Um, when you put your car into gear the gears mesh, they join together in the correct position. So, to mesh. Or the boy and girl were walking along the beach and they meshed fingers, they held each other's fingers, joined together to, to mesh. Okay, so a mesh, a loosely uh, put together um, net made of plastic or metal or thread so that it has little spaces between it. Uh, you pour the, the liquid through the mesh and take out the the lumps. Okay, things that mesh. Mm, my brother and I, we our lives never seem to mesh and we never really seem to have time to get together. Um, okay, so a mesh, a, a material made from a network of wire, a network of thread. The, let's see, the mesh of a fishing net depends on the type of fish you want to catch. It could be very small or it could be quite big. It's like a net, a netting, webbing would be a type of mesh. And then the mesh can be the distance between the individual strands. So they could be like that or they could be tiny like that. Um, and maybe you could measure a gra grains of sand or the, s the particulate size of something by the mesh that it, it actually falls through. And then to mesh, two gear wheels mesh together, they engage, they enmesh, they join together. Or their fingers meshed, they became entangled, entwined. Or if you mesh two things, you bring them into harmony. Um, I needed to mesh the um, music with what was happening at the time. Okay, so this, this is the idea of a mesh, the opening between various different pieces of thread, something that's woven or knitted together. So <coughs> there is mesh covering the windows to keep the insects out. Um, th so a type of netting or web, a network. The the fly got caught in the mesh of the spider's web. If two things mesh, they fit well together. Um, our characters meshed well and we got on very, very nicely. Um, in this world, we need to try to mesh economics with uh, philosophy and morals. These are difficult things to combine, to knit together to mesh together. 
Okay, so the window was covered in a fine mesh. This net has a fine mesh. The teeth of the gears meshed. Um, he felt trapped in a mesh of loyalty and guilt. Um, strain the liquid through a wire mesh. Um, okay, so the uh, the strainer was just a wire mesh. A T strainer it is uh, a a mesh. So, for formality, I'm going to give it a 5 in formality, I think 5.5, use anywhere. And then as to origin, um, let's see, there's a Dutch word, meshe. Ah, uh, where am I? Yes, uh, meshe. Um, but there's probably an old English word as well, similar to this. It comes from uh, Germanic, Proto-Germanic, mashwo, to knit, to twist, to plait. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mesh.